If only drinking this would take me back to a better movie. Hey guys, this is my review for Underworld Blood Wars. This is the fifth film in... Fifth film in this series. Never thought I'd see five of these movies. I like the first two. I like the concept. I like the atmosphere. I like the gore. I like the violence. I like the action scenes. I thought they were cool. The third one admittedly was better structured, but I don't know. I just kind of was tired of it. And then the fourth one was just a pile of shit. This one is better than the fourth one, so it's not awful, but it's still bad. This film takes place after the events of the fourth one, and they apparently have dropped all that whole human hunting the subspecies bullshit, and it's gone back to the first movie, which is just the vampire and werewolf war, which is something I immediately liked. And Marius is basically just Martin Sheen's character from the first film. It literally is just a redux of the first film. However, the vampires went from these cool-looking leather-wearing gangsters to these little social justice warrior-looking little bitches with a flopped out hair. And it just, I don't know, I didn't find the vampires convincing as a threat at all. The other thing that was a bit unfortunate is that the CG for the lichens is awful. It is so bad. It almost looked like it was so... It, purposely looked like stop motion animation sometimes it was really odd it just looked really poor they didn't use any prosthetics from what it looks like which is something i like so much about the first movie it still follows a structure there actually is some twists and turns that i admittedly did not see coming there are some that i saw coming from a mile away however and the acting by most of the people in this film is awful but the real the, <laughs> the real culprit of this film is the editing. The editor literally chopped this movie to shit. It's like it's running on ADD. It can't hold a scene for more than five seconds or even three or two or one. And it has to cut to something else of the opposite scene. And it makes dialogue scenes feel rushed. It makes action scene setups look really silly. And sometimes the fight scenes don't look that great. There are some fights in the movie that are actually quite good. That actually surprised me. And like I said, the gore in this film is still a hard R. I like that aspect. The gunfights, not so much. They really went back for the old sort of uh, um, kind of melee combat that was in the second one, and I like that. And it does take on some aspects of the third film, which some people will like because that is the best structure to films. However, as I said, there are some really stupid parts of this film. They're, the whole sort of kind of concept between the vampires fighting each other is dumb. <laughs> and they just seem to kind of forget all the aspects that happened in the first two movies, like the entirety of vampires being almost wiped, I don't know. It just seems as though this film is starting on it on its own. I didn't mind that aspect, but I didn't really appreciate that it kind of, it kept on relying off the past, but in reality, it really wasn't. In the end though, I'll say Blood Wars was watchable. It was dumb, but it was watchable at aspects. I had some fun with my friend, and hey, it's the first shitty movie of January to watch, but it could have been worse. It could have been Gods of Egypt. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give Underworld Blood Wars a 2 out of 7. That's all for me, and you know what? I just, I'm not going to hold myself to it, but I really want to go back and watch the first two and talk about them, because I did enjoy them, but I have a feeling that they haven't aged well. Eh, well, I'm doing the same shit for the Resident Evil, so maybe I will. Because this oh, They're actually going to catch up with Resident Evil. They're going to be a sixth one, probably. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys later.